Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute on their toes hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Hello everyone and welcome back to Baby Mario for Nintendo 64. Last time we met an unfortunately named Star and gained access to action commands. So now all that's left is to defeat Bowser. Which I'm sure will be very easy and not take several more hours of gameplay. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning room. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of his house at all. Hmm, how's the spinning roof? Well, that could be any of them. Alright. Merlin is out! Oh. There we go. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you again. Why do you keep knocking? Why do you keep knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Oh, wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. It's a me, a Mario. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. Hold up. Okay. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars yesterday, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was upon shooting Star Summit, and as usual, but one day it happened, suddenly a great beard and I standing face to face. Then the far away the vibes was made me it was amazing. I saw you so young that I believed it. My eyes were made of this I'm glad he shortened it. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Yes, of course I was. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small fee. <laughs> right now. Your main goal must be to save Princess Beach as quickly as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Bros. You reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay. Thanks for the freebie, I guess. Oh my god! The homeless toads! How can I help you, toads? Should we start with a shower, perhaps? 
You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Copa Bros. Waters would be a huge mistake. Definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask an old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for I mean you. For you. Don't even think about it. Move your heathen asses out of my way. Merlin, my mother told stop me, and they were in the way, and they hurt my feelings, and they smell like poo. Ah, Mario, you want me to predict the hat each day? It'll cost five coins. Am I getting strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Down? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Oh, oh no. Let's go, Gumbario. Also, why is your name? You don't, don't worry about it. At least the strange toads you were talking about. I told you that you can't bath. Take off. I have not decided on voices for any of them yet. And yes, I know they're the Cooper Bros in disguise. Hmm. You want toads, are you? Oh, um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone with just cute ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Rawr! Hmm, that's, that's I thought. You're the Cooper Bros. Help. Oh, thought you guess it was us. Ooh, perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green? We retreat. For now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Cooper Bros. You must pursue them to the hideout, the Cooper Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. You get to the Cooper Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shelled Cooper. This is a strange part, and in Cooper Village, you might find something that will clear it up, such as a blue shelled Cooper. I must return home now. So you have a blue hat. No look of a blue shell. So if they're blue, they're on the crew. Got it. Ah, didn't do any damage. Take that. You fiend. You fiendish fiend of fiendish proportions. Excellent work, Mario. That was the I can count on you. Alright, that's abilities. No. Go on a tattle. This is a Koopa Droopa. Everybody knows Koopa Droopas are Bowser's flowers. You mean followers, right? Sure, whatever. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1, their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them the power block or jump attack. Take that, and that. And another one of those. <laughs> I am the great Koopa Killer Mario. Mario, you seem to delight in killing us a little too much. 
No, no, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. How about you? Yo, fiendish Goomba. Never could trust a Goomba. Mario, please. Okay, he's from a different generation. Alright. One of those. I don't think I can get stylish in this game. I think that was introduced in, uh... Oh! That was in your door. Or maybe I just need to unlock star power first, but... Nah. I haven't actually played this game a lot. I played a little bit when I was a kid. Like, small, small child. So, like, definitely 15 years plus. But, uh... Yeah, I don't remember much else than that. Pretty much only remember up through the Koopa Bros. Makes it scary, so we gotta hear and chase some enemies away. Oh, and I remember Sushi. Because he was delightful. Put shell enemies and put two damage points on all enemies. Oh, I should have done a jump. Oh well. We're gonna be on their backs anyway. Like yo mom. Oh! Alright. Whoop bam! Come on and slam. Looks like we're having. Looks like we're having turtle stew for dinner tonight. Hey, Mario. Hey, Mario. Yes, today I heard you the first time. Ooh, button. I love this game so much. Just the art style and the animations and everything. Oh, hello there. Oh no, I didn't pull out my hammer on time. I was trying to hammer slam her in my sweater zit. That's one down. Ouch, I didn't block it on time. I'm a failure as a hero. Four more star points. Soon we will be the most powerful, uh, most powerful creatures in the world. Let me kill you first, so I can get at the other one with my hammer. Stop. Hammer time. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. No. Now we're gonna start with you. Because there's just one thing, and I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Just ouch. Keep that in mind, as I described to remind myself how I tried so hard. Alright. We need to kill the Koopa. So I can kill the Spike Goomba because he has the highest attack power. And then block the attack. Perfect.
Nom 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 my coins. My coins. I still have no idea what I'm doing with this channel, if I'm being honest. I'm recording, I don't know, a bunch of these let's plays. Oh, I didn't double jump. That's okay. Over a bunch of the Paper Mario episodes before I actually release them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Sure if I want to do daily releases or just only on the weekends or what. I feel like only on the weekends is is what's worked best for my channel so far. Because whenever I do daily releases, they very quickly stop. Oh boy. Let's just when in doubt power out. I would have fought if I had a Koopa with me, but my Goomba cannot hurt Spike Goombas. Yeah. Mom, we got this. Mario, just, just give me a little, like, little boost. Can I just jump on your head? Don't be loud, Mario. Here's truly the Koopa Bros. Seems that we're going to need a Koopa. But where- oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Okay, we're heading down here. Die, you stupid toads! How dare you get transformed into a brick blocks? Can it be? Mario? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. How, how are you doing that? Mean guys, they're really naughty. Why did you say it like that? Oh no, now he's naked. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. Get you back, homie. Literally. Oh, thank you, Mario, I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, we should be able to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. I do not want something fuzzy in my overalls. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. There you go. Thanks, Mario. The shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You're not born with that? Okay. We're getting some interesting Mario. Let's save. Well, you still have your shell. Looks like you're having a shell of a time. Supposedly, these Bob Bones recently ran away from the Cooper Girls Fortress. Of course, things are much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild, poor little bob bombs. Uh, me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell, nope. 
No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. Don't worry about these guys today. Look like they're having a blast. Hey, your house is a blue shell. I need to replenish my fire flower. Hand it over! Alright, any other Koopas we need to help out? Looks like we're moving on to the next screen. Mario, look out for the fuzzies! Who's there? I'm kinda busy right now. I guess I can't give all my followers the same voice. What? What could it be? Are you Mario? You are, my name's Koopa. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. I was meaning he has got to be fatal somewhere. I need a huge favor. I hope you help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. It's way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario. It looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The buses that take my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab it. Like a womp. Alright, we'll do the home. Me a work? You get back here, you piece of shit. Stop running from me. Oh no, I'm getting surrounded, aren't I? Get back here! Yeah, work, work. Go and get it again. Yeah. Yeah, work. Guess where I'm hiding. Ta -da. Yeah, work. Not bad, chump. You can't chump. But that was just a warm up. Yeah, Guess where I'm hiding. York, New York, you got me twice. I must have been lucky. Now I'm serious. New York, guess where I'm hiding. I give uncle. Here, take this stupid shell. Oh, you really thought I wouldn't notice you. you just jump back and forth between the same two trees. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. That wasn't a very convincing promise. I thought you wouldn't leave without your shell. Mario, there you are. I realize that I have to take a stand against these fuzzes. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Oh, yes, yes. This is my shell, alright. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got my shell back, uh-huh. You look great as Mario. I owe you big time. Not to mention it, just uh, join my team and risk your life for me. Really, here you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. You ever didn't know Professor Colorado? I do not. Naturally, he's a Koopa. He's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, but I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think, could I please take me with you, Mario? I'll help. Come on, let me go. 
What are you playing, Mario? I'm sorry, I do not accept Koopas on my team. Ever since, you know, King Koopa is uh, basically the Hitler of our planet. Alright, thank you for not being prejudiced, I guess. I'm on my way. You were definitely kind of prejudiced, so. Like, that was real fucked up, Mario. I mean, I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Press to make him throw himself in reach an item, or switch in the distance. Cool. So what? Okay, so that is my C stick. Ah, neat. No, oh, I can't hold him like I can with, uh, Coops. In Thousand Year Door. We are. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? I do like us some of that, you punk bitch. Doing this is so hard to dodge against. Now, that I've been in a little bit of a danger, Coop, so I'm just going to have to overtreader your shot a little tiny bit. I hope you don't have to mind. You're oh no, we'll be good, we'll be good. I still do not believe them. Yep. Yeah, did you lose badge increase maximum HP by five? Nice. Do do do. You have to color out his wife. Oh, little Cooper is going to go on Mario's adventure. I could take care. Ma'am, why do you sound like that? You guys have a toad house around here? I am, uh, currently in the process of a dying. Here we are. Welcome to Toad House, the house slogan is, refresh your body and soul. Would you like to take a nap? Have pleasant dreams. Oh, okay, just jump in my overalls, whatever, that's not creepy. And that's where we're gonna end the episode. Yes, they did sleep well, thank you. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic day. Please make good choices, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.